Time's officially here in Michigan. Um, snowing out. I got my little bucket fire going inside. To warm my hands up when they get cold. But I was waiting for them to weld these floor joist hangers. Custom hangers. So I could add this little catwalk over here. Or it's not a catwalk. It's just an extension of the upstairs floor deck for a bedroom that's going to be over here. And I put one of the floor joists in. And I got I got to put all these in to go from here to there. And then I can build this exterior wall that goes across here to where I can uh, run my deck. I don't know what I'm doing here yet. I might have put a header out here somewhere because the wall's got to continue so that it can carry that weight up there from the trusses. It's going to run from up there, that truss. They're going to keep going all the way across here on a wall upstairs to carry the load of the roof. <coughs> It'll be all along here. And we wanted to put the floor in today and set the rest of these trusses and sheet this roof so that we can avoid this shit from going on at least down here and we got i got more roof over that way i gotta close up too down where the hallway is to the garage but yeah and i got a big window installed see that big picture window pretty sweet ain't it I'm liking it. I like that window. It's a seven foot by, it's a six foot by six foot, roughly, square window. <coughs> Still got cold. I framed this one, these windows out for the, I framed all this out upstairs. So I can run my staircase in here when I get the materials. Put scaffolding up there so I can put the window upstairs in. Here's what it looks like. And I don't know if I showed any of this, but I got some more windows. I held off on this just so I can get the roof on. All I want to do is get the trusses up there so I can get the roof on it. But that's what I got there. I got one more window I'm waiting for that didn't come. And all that above the windows gets sheeted. Frame all that in and sheet it. And so far, that's what I got. But I got to dig all my 2 by 10s out for the floor. And guess what? That's where they're at underneath all that. So I got to move all that wood, bring it in the house. All right. Getting the plywood up on the roof. Not on the roof, but I gotta get a plywood up there enough that I can sh sheet that deck. Then I can start framing in my wall. Yeah, it's a task. Ugh. I just moved all the wood that was out front to up on the roof, the trusses, and the sheeting for the deck. Everything's gone. And everything's up on the roof, the trusses. Everything's up there. Got everything up on the roof. Can't even see it. But put them windows in probably tomorrow or the next day. Whenever I finish this wall. But I gotta frame this wall up here. 
sure to go from right to over there, all the way over to here. It's so fucking cold out. Excuse my French. Oh, yeah. I think I'm ready to warm my hands up. Got me a little fire going here. Uh. <coughs> Smoke follow me. Look at this, follow me. Anyway, putting a duck in. Man, the smoke. I put some pine in there, or not some pine, but plywood, and that glue smoking. Um, that's what I was talking about. I put the floor in there. See that? And that's what's going to hold the rafters up on this side. I got to build a wall on top of that. It's going to go from there all the way to there. And I gotta wait for some brackets to be welded up here flush for my wall to be able to be fastened over there and I, for me to finish sheeting that. And the guy that does that took off. I don't know when he's gonna be back. He he's gonna be back in a few hours, but I'd have had all this stuff already framed in if I wasn't waiting on somebody. But sometimes in this trade, there's a waiting game. Actually, a lot of times there is. But I got all the trusses out from out front. And they're all up on the roof. I had five people show up here and humped. They humped it from the pile to the porch that I built to that. And then up on the roof took four guys down here to bring all that wood up to me up there and the trusses. Go figure, huh? But, yeah, I'm warming up by the fire. <sighs> Gotta love Michigan weather. Tomorrow it might be 80, so that'd be awesome. But, I was hoping the snow didn't hit and I'd be able to frame all this in. But unfortunately, I didn't get that lucky. I got to put self tapping screws through these hangers up here, like I did the other ones, because that's the only thing that'll go in there. They made the damn holes too small on it and I can't get nails in there. But, I mean, the floor joists ain't going anywhere. They're definitely never coming out of that. The wood will disintegrate be before anything ever happens. That steel will take uh, probably 500 years of rust through all that. Who knows? I don't know how long one of these storage containers would last. But I'm sure it, at least 500 years you'd get out of one of these if it was brand new. These are a little rusted and beat up. So, who knows? But... For a person to live in the rest of their life, they definitely this is never have to rebuild your house again, that's for sure. But yep, I'm gonna build the deck on here. I'm gonna get some sheet. I gotta bring all that sheeting in that's out there. And I'm gonna sheet up there, all that. And hopefully this guy comes back and welds this so that I can uh put my wall up. But if he don't, I'm gonna frame my wall up up there and have it ready so that I'm waiting on his ass. Then I can say, listen, dude, you gotta get on the ball. <laughs> no, he's a good guy, he does good work too. But anyways, I'll keep you guys posted on progress. Um, it's coming along. It's definitely gonna be something different for me. It's my first time doing something like this, so. Um, I like the experience of doing something different, but in this kind of trade, building houses and stuff, this is the kind of thing that happens. You know, every job's a different job. 
different experience, and you learn something new. But uh, I'll keep you guys posted, and I hope you guys are enjoying this, and it helps somebody out if they do their own, you know. Just like my, follow my page and pass it on your friends. Show your friends the cool house that I'm working on. And uh, I've already gotten people showing up here from watching these YouTube videos and from somebody sharing something, a photo or something I posted to Facebook or whatever. But I got people like I never heard of before bringing this up. So it's getting a lot of publicity. Uh, and I appreciate all you guys' uh, views. So thanks. Have a good one.